Hi Tribe, I'm Evelyn and this is Demon Dialogues, the place on Objectively Type where we talk about everybody's favorite topic, our demons. So we're on another Parts Unknown vacation uh, video. This time I went down to the river. <laughs> uh, and so I'm trying to be close enough to the camera so that you can, you know, hear me and everything. Um, of course, I'll check the audio before I post this or anything. But for today's topic, I wanted to talk about Demon SE. So, or demon sensory, um, with a specific focus a little bit more on demon SE as opposed to demon SI. So as an ENFP, I have demon sensory. Uh, my flavor of demon sensory happens to be SI in that, um, so SI is in my stack. So my human need for control or certainty is tied to the sensory. So I really like to have my sensory controlled. I do tend to freak out when my sensory is not controlled. I just don't tend to take responsibility for it because it's my fourth function demon. Um, so how does that, you know, so how does that work with gathering the sensory, right? S-E. And so this is an area where I totally thought that I was an I-N-T-J uh, before getting my type because I could totally see demon S-E for me. And the way that it shows up, so, okay, well, first of all, what is S-E? S-E is gathering the sensory. So what's the sensory? It's pretty much anything that you can observe with your senses. Um, anything you can, like the facts or the reality of the matter, um, a lot of times, you know, that's what I consider to be sensory. And I knew that I had trouble taking in the sensory before I even got my type. This is why, frankly, I actually thought I was consumed last because I knew I was an extrovert. So I knew that two out of my top three animals was extroverted. So I knew one of the introverted animals was last. I just assumed it was consumed because I'm so bad at taking in the sensory. Like, especially as I've gotten older, it feels like it's just gotten worse and worse. So like books, like I cannot just like sit down and like read a book or, you know, so I've switched to audiobooks a long time ago or even um, eBooks because the other thing is like, I hate having things. Like I hate having a bunch of like physical objects and things. Like you, you may notice, like, I mean, look, behind the scenes, obviously, the video I recorded about um, comfort blankies and and uh, validation cookies and this one are like 10 minutes apart, okay? I just went down the thing. But like if you pay attention, like I tend to wear the same stuff and like things like that. Like I'm the type of person who would just wear a uniform to work. And I, I mean, when I was a high schooler, I went to a private school where we wore a uniform and I was content to do it. I would join the military because then I would not have to think about the sensory. And so that's a very INTJ thing. Like it's stereotypically INTJs are known for just like wearing the same black shirt over and over and over again. And I totally related to that. I related to a lot of the INTJ things. And now I see it's because I had demon sensory, specifically SE is not in my stack. And so like, I'm not great at SE. When Dave and Shannon talk about consume, they tend to talk about it uh, in the context of their own animals. So consume is often talked about in a very SEFI way of like taking in new facts that you like. And I don't do that. I just don't do that. Um, and so like, okay, so the way it shows up in my life is just like, it's like a disconnect from reality um, because it's, I tend to miss I tend to miss the details. And I used to just think that that was demon SI, but now I see that it's like, it's a combination of demon SI and missing SE. Cause when I've talked to my ESFP friends, they're like, oh yeah, we pay attention to the details because they are gathering in all the sensory. So they, they get all the details, right? Um, I don't, I, I, I will miss the details. I will not really pay attention to um, the, the sensory inputs. So I had a, here's, here's an example. And this happens at work all the time where like, you know, I'm, I'm given a task and I'm able to problem solve because I'm an NT savior. I problem solve a solution very quickly. And then when I take it to my leadership, this is one thing I really respect about the people I work for is they are really good at questioning the facts. And they will ask me like, you know, what is this? You know, so we'll be looking at like a design or, or a, an approach, a strategy. And they'll say, well, what does this mean? And what does this mean? And what does this mean? And I mean, truth, truth be told, I a lot of times don't have a ready answer because I didn't look at the close details. I, and, and that is an area that I'm really working on and I'm really focused on getting better at because I've seen it done so well in other people where they are able to sort of take a massive information 
and they are able to actually absorb and read it in detail and ask good questions. Whereas I tend to kind of skim things and then and then make my any connections and then move on. Like the way that the observers work for me is I have to gather the sensory and then as quickly as possible, I just organize it in any way. Like I just will bulletize. If you gave me like a wall of text, I will just bulletize it just to get it into SI, which is my natural sensing function. And then from there I can make the any connections. And so the struggle point for me uh, as a lead NE is taking in that sensory. Um, one of the things that Dave made a video about, I think it's called all eight, like all eight functions, do we have them or something like that, uh, where he talked about these functions that aren't in your stack. And what he said is like, the function that will like save you is you take your top function. So like in my case, any, and you switch the domain. So SE, SE is like my savior. For Dave, it was SI he realized that really getting the SI down was what was gonna allow him to put his NI visions into reality. And, and I've seen the same thing play out with me. I make the NE connections easily, like across the spectrum, but in order to be able to do that, I need to gather the sensory and I need to really take the time to do it. A lot of times that's what it comes down to, maybe, maybe because of my lead play, I just don't take the time um, to actually read the sensory and actually pay close attention to it but the downside of that is you end up spending more time on the back end because you didn't really catch all the details. You, you know, you end up playing catch up or making a mistake and not seeing it because you weren't really paying that close attention to the sensory. So interested in the other end types out there, how does demon sensory show up for you? Comment below, let me know, and maybe we'll do another one of these little wilderness things. Where, where will Evelyn be next? Um, I've seen a few deer out here, but that's like it. Uh, <laughs> but it's still beautiful. Yeah, the sun's coming up. It's great. I love it. Uh, but I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get back to the, I gotta get back because the kids are probably driving my husband nuts. So, bye.